What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Moose Nukem here with another Anthem how-to video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can get your Bone Collector Adept achievement very, very quickly. Now this achievement, guys, requires 160 skulls from the Cataclysm. So basically you have to grab 10 skulls first, then it resets back to zero, then you have to grab 50, resets back to zero, then 100. So I'm going to show you guys my route on how to get this done very, very quickly. Let's go! All right, guys, so we're going to spawn right outside of Sia Takaro in the Cataclysm. We're going to bear right, right outside of the bubble. There's our first skull. I'm not exactly sure why I can't pick it up. I don't know if it's a bug or being that I already completed the challenge. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's the first one nonetheless. Now we're going to come up here on this uh, gazebo-looking structure, and as you guys can see across here will be our second skull. We're going to go ahead and pick that one up as well. And then from here, we're going to travel all the way across uh, the Sia Takaro map here, if you guys can evade the turrets. It seems like I've uh, pretty much gotten hit by every turret on my way over here. But uh, as you guys can see right beside that turret, right up here on this scaffolding looking structure is another skull. We're going to go ahead and pick that one up. And then we're going to proceed to come to the outside of Sia Takaro. We're going to get our final skull located within Sia Takaro. Now I did want to mention guys, in this video I am not showcasing where all of the skulls are located. I know that I passed quite a few of them up, uh, mainly some that were uh, very time consuming and basically were just out of my way or some that I just don't know where they are. But nonetheless this worked for me and it worked really quickly. So we're going to head over here to Diana's Landing, we're going to come on under the water on our way over, kind of close to the relic uh, that we pick up for the Dominion Vault. And we're going to grab that one there. Now, uh, it's okay if your stability is dropping a little bit. We can just grab uh, some of these notes real quick. Pick up this one here, and we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the beach where we're going to grab another skull. So yes, guys, uh, this whole process took me about an hour and a half. Um, that was for 160 total Cataclysm skulls. Um, I don't know if it's the fastest way, but I'll tell you what guys like it saved me a lot of trouble I love the grind, but at the same time I wanted to get this done So uh, this was the best route that worked for me, and I hope it works for you guys, too So we're gonna stabilize there in that bubble We're gonna head right over here by this piece of shaper equipment Right outside of Dominion Beach and you guys can see another skull right there Go ahead and pick that up and then we're gonna make our way into Diana's Landing, but first we're gonna stabilize so you guys have the option, you can grab this note, or you can get in the bubble, uh, whichever one you want to do to stabilize. Head over to Diana's Landing, go ahead and take out this storm just to get it out of your way, that way you don't have to worry about it. And then there's a platform right here that contains a skull. Grab that skull, head straight down right off the platform, there's another skull. From there, we are going to head up this way, it's kind of toward Castle Kelric and the Forge. And you guys will see um, a hill-type mountain structure right here. We're going to jump onto the top of that and grab that skull. That's it for Diana's Landing, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and head out here toward the Castle Kelric event, also uh, where you do the Grab It event as well. We're going to stop here, charge our thrusters up, and we're going to head straight up to the top right outside of the Castle Kelric event and stabilize again. Um, so basically I have this set up, guys, uh, to where, as you guys can see, it looks like an event has been done. Um, however, the way I'm running this is basically if you don't want to complete any events, you just want to go through and grab your skulls, this is probably the best way to do it. It's going to require a lot of uh, stabilizing. However, um, if you hit all the bubbles and uh, notes on the way, you'll be just fine. So we're going to come down two stories below that bubble. As you guys can see, there's another skull. And from there, after picking that up, we're going to head right back up. And we're going to restabilize in that bubble. Now, if, uh, if an event hadn't been completed, you would absolutely need to stabilize in this bubble. It would be much lower. Um, so it's always good to stabilize every chance you get. So... From here, guys, we're going to go ahead head into Castle Calric, and we're going to make our way over to the forge, where there are also several uh, skulls over there as well for us to pick up. So, again, guys, by now, your stability might be pretty far down if you haven't completed any events, but that's okay. You can just head down to the bottom down here, and there will be several notes that you can pick up to uh, get your stability back up. So from here, once we get our stability back up, we're going to head over to the forge, where we're going to uh, grab some more skulls. 
So basically, guys, the way I set up this route, um, the reason I like it is because the ending of the route comes right out in front of Vara. So it gives us the opportunity to finish up our route really, really quickly and then kill Vara off, finish it off, and then we can rinse and repeat. We can come right back in and do the same thing over and over. So as you guys can see, we're headed down into the forge right now. There's going to be a storm here, and that's significant because right underneath of that storm will be two skulls. We'll pick up the two skulls off of them platforms. I'm sorry, I don't know why the video cut right there, guys, but there were two skulls right on them two platforms below that storm. Pick them up. We're going to head out of the forge. And we're going to make our way to the next stability bubble, which will be located right outside here. And at this point, if you haven't completed any events, your stability might be really low. Jump at that bubble, build that stability back up. So, right at the edge of this water right here, guys, will be another skull right down here on our way to Vara. Grab that skull, we're going to come right back up outside of the water. Now, you want to be quick about this if you haven't completed any events, because right now your stability might be pretty low. And if it is, that's okay, because all we have to do is just hit this laser down here and... Um, expose the gold notes that we can grab and build our stability back up. I don't need it, but uh, if you haven't completed any events, you might. So, with that said, guys, we're going to come right up here, right outside of Vara. We're, we're going to grab our last skull for this particular route, and we're going to head right in and take care of Vara. So basically, that's it, guys. Um, like I said, this method took me about an hour and a half to collect all 160 skulls that I needed. There may be faster ways. I'm sure there are, but this worked for me, and uh, I was really satisfied with it. So with that said, guys, my name is Moose Nukem with another Anthem video for you guys. I hope this helps you guys out. Um, if you know of any uh, cool locations of skulls, please let me know because I'm sure I haven't found them all. I've found other skulls uh, aside from this route, but I'm sure there's still more to be found. But... With that said, guys, we have completed um, the achievement. I hope you guys do, too. Let me know in the comments if you did, and I will see you guys on my next video.